the moment of awakening. To reach truth, accumulation of knowledge is not required. In fact, accumulation of knowledge hinders the realization of truth. What is required is to awaken to the heart of the reality. Reality or truth reveals itself in totality only in the moment of awakening. Nothing can be added or lost in the light of awakening. No more emotions are left based on concepts. If Bodhidharma is an ideal person and a master, it is because he has broken all chains of illusion that bind us to the concepts and duality in the world. What is this concept and duality? This is my husband, this is my mother, this is my father, this is my friend. All these are concepts and illusions. In reality, we are part of one synergistic harmony. All the clay pots are made out of this stuff, clay, or all the jewelry is made out of gold, but they look different. This is ring, this is handband, this is necklace, this is this and that. This is a concept. The moment of awakening may be marked by an outburst of laughter. When you realize that all these divisions are mere concepts and so you can burst a laughter, but it is not the laughter of someone who has won the lottery or some other kind of victory. It is the laughter of the one who for ages have been searching for the moment of awakening and now it is there for which he has been striving through various lives. Once thought so difficult, it is suddenly here and also he realizes that it is to be simple and easy. With this very thought, he burst forth into laughter. At another occasion, I will narrate the moment of awakening which exploded into enlightenment in the lives of certain masters as Buddha, Nanak, Osho and other masters. One day Buddha came to the congregation at Vulture he stood silently in front of the mounds, a silence that overflows bliss, a silence that is awakening by itself. All the mounds waited for Buddha to break the silence, but Buddha remained silent. He had a flower in his hand. After some time, he raised the flower in his hand Still he did not utter a single word. Everyone looked at him. No one understood the gesture of Buddha. Then one of the monks looked at Buddha with his sparkling eyes and smiled. The Buddha then broke his silence and said to the monks who had smiled, I have the treasure of vision of perfect and total dharma, the unique spirit of enlightenment and nirvana, the reality in its pure and sublime state. I have now transferred it to you, Mahakashyap. Mahakashyap was an ardent disciple of Buddha. This was the moment of awakening. Mahakashyap reached his moment of awakening when Buddha raised the flower. Something exploded in him. Mahakashyap saw the flower and thus received the mind seal. Mind seal of Buddha. 
if I must use the Zen terminology, it was communion without communication. It was heart-to-heart -heart transfer of spiritual energy, as Sufis call communion. Buddha had taken the seal of his mind and imprinted it on the mind of Mahakashyap. The smile of Mahakashyap was not different, but it was of the same quality as the laughter and outbursts of other Zen masters. Looking at the flower deeply, Mahakashyap reached the moment of awakening. There's something like this, you see an ex you are in an extreme moment and you see something beautiful or you see some face, something like a deja vu happened. The voice disappears, eyes remain wide open. In that very moment, awakening can happen. Looking at the flower deeply, Mahakashyap reached the moment of awakening. Some masters have attained awakening through a shout, a cry, or even a kick. This was the beginning of Zen Buddhism, now known as Zen. This is how a master transfers all that he is to his disciple. I was a witness to this moment through my own experience. I used to sleep with my grandfather, this Sufi master. He had instructed my mother to move me from his bed before three each morning. But on a particular day my mother fell asleep, so she could not move me from his bed. He went into his meditation. I too became meditative. But the intensity of the energy was so strong that my conscious being could not bear the force and I went into Samadhi. The experiences, the experience lasted for more than five hours. It was almost like I became unconscious. This was the moment when the mind seal of the Master was transferred to me. This was the first stage in the process of Transformation before the master actually confers the state of a master onto the disciple. I was then eight months of age. Such are the ways and means of a master's silent communion. This is the moment of awakening. If you are available, this moment can come to you any time because the Master is open but you are not available to his silent gestures. When Buddha raised the flower in his hand, each one of the monks must be thinking something or the other. Buddha never did this. Why has he raised the finger? Maybe he want to show something, maybe he want to tell us something this way. Many thoughts and concepts come to the mind of the people. Mahakashyap was the only one whose eyes sparkled. He looked at the Buddha and smiled. There was nothing to say. Buddha had simply raised the flag.